Well, good morning everybody. Lovely to be with you, although not in person, but in spirit, as we gather on this, the Lord's Day. You will have noticed the video which showed the path of the chapel leading up to the door, and it's something that we did so many, many times and look back with great thanksgiving. We welcome Bart into our pulpit today. We pray that he will be owned and blessed and used by the Lord. We're very thankful for those who are taking part this morning. And uh, we pray that God will own and bless our endeavors to his glory and his praise. We're going to sing our opening hymn, Lord for the Years. We're grateful to John, Karen and Leah for the music and we pray that the Lord will bless them and us. After we have sung the hymn, Toby will lead us in prayer. And so the Lord bless us together. Amen. such a special relationship with you Lord we thank you that we can be called your children we pray that as a body of believers today we will worship and honor your name we pray that we might think about the glorious truths Lord which you provide Lord Jesus we pray that as um, Bart brings his uh, message to us today that it would be blessed by you and that we might receive it in our hearts well. Lord Jesus, I pray that you'd be with all those that are meeting today, whether it's over 
live streamed videos, Lord, whether it's uh, YouTube videos, Lord, I pray that you would be with each and that you'd bless the endeavours of your church everywhere, Lord. We pray for those that perhaps might not have usually gone to church, Lord, but are tuning in to um, watch, watch a service, Lord, and we pray that you might really touch their hearts and that you might bless them, Lord. Lord, we think about the reason, perhaps, that we've moved online, and I, in that context, Lord, I pray for those working in our National Health Service, Lord. Be with them and draw near to them, be their strength in their shield, Lord. We pray for the Christians within that body, Lord, and that you would um, re-raise them up to provide comfort, Lord, and um, to be bold and brave for you, Lord, to to show their colleagues and their patients, Lord, the <coughs> truly wonderful nature of your grace. Lord, we pray today for the world as a whole, Lord, that you would bring healing on it. Lord, our world seems to be so sick, but nature seems to be thriving, and we just pray that you would um, continue, continue that, Lord. We pray that we would uh, look around us and see the beauty and the wonderful creation which you've made, Lord. That we would see the blessing in that and look to you in all, Lord. So, Lord, I pray that as we uh, join together that you would bless this time and that we might look to you all the more. Bring these prayers before you in your name. And now we uh, gather in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Our second hymn today is going to be Praise My Soul, brought to you by the Simpkins, and we thank you for uh, their contribution uh, to the music and song. Um, after that, we're going to hear from Bart. Um, I believe he's going to talk briefly about his testimony, um, and then I think we'll be moving on to a reading. Um, but yeah. I pray that you would enjoy uh, the service today and that um, we might really feel the presence of God with us. Cheers.
Hello, good morning everyone at West Kington and those of you watching online. It's great to be able to come and share at your service uh, this morning. And uh, I regularly share my story um, around the country uh, of the miracle that God has performed in my life. So here's my story. Through you I can do anything I can do all things Cause it's you who gives me strength Nothing is impossible This reading is taken from Psalm 139. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me in behind and before and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there, your hand will guide me, your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me, and the light will become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. For you created my inmost being, you knit me together in my mother's womb, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful, I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, God. How vast is the sum of them! Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. If, if only you, God, would slay the wicked, away from me, you who are bloodthirsty. They speak of you with evil intent. Your adversaries misuse your name. Do I not hate those who hate you, Lord? and abhor those who are in rebellion against you. I have nothing but hatred for them. I count them my enemies. Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting.
good morning everyone at uh, West Kington and uh, for those of you who are joining uh, online for the first time from elsewhere, it's great to have you um, join us and to be part of our service uh, this morning. Now, uh, you will have seen uh, a brief version of my uh, story earlier on in this service and um, I want to be talking uh, with you this morning about uh, trusting God in difficult times. And obviously now we are facing a, a really difficult situation around the world uh, with this COVID-19 uh, situation. And who would have thought just a few months ago we'd be in the position um, that we are in now. And sometimes we pray and ask God to take away a difficult situation from us. And sometimes he does and, and sometimes... Um, we stay with it, uh, with the situation, and in, in my own life, uh, for example, I prayed many times as a child uh, for God to heal me of my, uh, of my disability. Uh, but as you can see, I'm still physically disabled, and, and why hasn't he taken it away if I've prayed it? Why, has, why does it seem that he hasn't answered the prayer? But I do believe that God can use people. Uh, through the difficulty of a situation uh, so that his works can be displayed and for his glory to shine through that person. And uh, one scripture I want to share with you is 2 Corinthians 12, verse 8 to 10. It says, Three times I pleaded with the Lord to take it away from me. But he said to me, My, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. So when we face difficult or bad situations in our, in our own lives, I do uh, believe that uh, good things uh, can come as a result as well. And uh, even in this situation that we are facing now with, with COVID-19, um, I believe that many uh, lives will, will change. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I received an email from, uh, from the pastor uh, of my church. Now, most churches are set up online now while we're in lockdown. And uh, the church that I go to, Hope Church, uh, we use an online platform. And uh, an email I received a couple of weeks ago from my pastor, it said, uh, said that the previous Sunday, along with Hope Church, 20,258 churches used the platform to host their online services, and 31,166 people raised their hands in commitment or recommitment to Jesus. Now, for many people, this might be a really worrying time, but we can see that during this time of, time of worry, that, that people are... People's hearts are being opened and uh, people are making commitments to Jesus and we need to pray and ask for more hearts uh, to be opened for uh, people to accept Jesus as their Lord and Saviour and, uh, and it would be great uh, to pray for this as a church. Now whenever we face uh, difficult situations in our lives, uh, I believe we have so many reasons uh, to praise God, because God is our healer. Isaiah 53 verse 4 to 5 says, Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering. Yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. And then Psalm 46 verse 1 says, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. And then God is omnipotent as and he is all-powerful. Uh, Matthew 19 verse 26 says, Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. And then God is omniscient as in, as in he knows everything. Psalm 147 verse 5 says, Great is our Lord and abundance of power, his understanding is beyond measure. And then God is omnipresent, as in he is everywhere. Psalm 139, verse 7 to 12 says, Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If 
I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you, the night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. And then God is sovereign, Isaiah 46, verse 9 to 10, says, Remember the former things, those of long ago. I am God, and there is no other. I am God, and there is none like me. I make known the end from the beginning, from ancient times what is still to come. I say my purpose will stand, and I will do all that I please. And then God is great, Psalm 145, verse 3 says, Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. And then God is our Saviour through Jesus Christ. And in John 3.16 it says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. These are so many reasons that we have to praise God during our, well, any time, but including during our difficult situations that we face. So I'd really like to encourage you today that rather than to focus on the difficulty of a situation, to put your trust in God. Ask God to step in and just keep your focus on him, keep your focus on Jesus and remember through all difficulties that we face that God is our healer, he is our refuge and strength, he is all powerful, he knows everything, he is everywhere, he is sovereign he is a great God and he is our saviour through Jesus Christ. And so I want to, uh, I want to finish uh, by ending us uh, with a song which was written, uh, I think it was in around 1993, uh, by Darlene Check, My Jesus, My Saviour, which I think is, is very appropriate. Uh, for
Hello, everyone. Um, I just want to thank Bart today for his ministry and his preaching and also his playing. It's always always lovely to hear him play. Um, thank you for joining us and to all those who took part. Um, thank you to everyone who put this together. So let's bow in prayer. My Jesus, my Saviour, Lord, there is none like you. Lord, we just thank you today that you are here with us. Lord, we thank you for the work that you did to save us. Lord, we thank you that you died on the cross for us. Lord, today we know we can't be together with loved ones, friends, family. But together we come to you through technology and through modern ways. Lord, we thank you for our NHS staff and frontline workers. We pray for healing upon this country and also other countries. Lord, thank you for Bart, what he was doing for you, the work that you wanted him to do, his ministry and his playing. At this time, we can't be together with our loved ones. So let's take a moment of silence to think about them. So Lord, as we bring forward our family and our friends, Lord, we just thank you for them. We pray for them and we just thank you that you are here with us today. Lord, we bring Roy before you and Daphne and Auntie Rita and most vulnerable here at this chapel. Lord, we just pray that we can be together soon. So Lord, thank you for the work that you do. Lord, we thank you that we are here together. Maybe not in person, but through spirit. So Lord, bless us now, each and every day, through this coming week. Amen. So stay safe, everyone, and... May blessing be upon you all.